Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to cover interfaces in Java or interfaces. Basically, if you are getting question, what is an interface, then how to answer in an interview with real time example, I will cover what point to be covered in an interview and what point you should not touch in an interview. Okay. Uh, now, before starting, I have a little announcement, then we'll start with the video and I promise I won't interrupt in between lecture. I promise you. So the announcement is ReLevel is India's first hiring platform that empowers job seekers to showcase their skill through test and go to the dream job within 15 days. They currently conduct tests in five categories, business development, front-end development, back-end development, business analytics, data analytics. And you know what's the benefit by registering for re-level test? There are 50 plus companies like Razorpay, Urban Company, Upgrade and many more and thousand plus job opportunity. And you can, you can get the job up to 15 LPA packages. An experienced candidate can get 50% high from their previous job. Registration process is simple as any registration process. You just need to sign up, then select your preferred category, then book your slot, book your date, and the test will be completely online. They have recently started showcasing candidates who have been placed in some amazing companies through D-Level. You can find out these profiles on their leadership board. Also, ReLevel is hosting their first ever Achiever Summit this Thursday at 7 p.m. Wednesday today. This is going to be an amazing event. They have Sunil Chetri coming in to celebrate the achievement of all the candidates who have been offered a job through ReLevel. And to add to this, the event will be hosted by Varun Thakur. It's going to be fun, motivating and all of enthusiasm. Check out their channel in the description, subscribe today and set the reminder to make you don't miss out an amazing event. And one of the re-level achiever was offered 40 LPA job from Cred. He is going to speak about it. So all links are there in the description. Please go ahead and check it out. Now let's come to this video. Here is the popular definition of interface. If you Google it out, the interface definition would be like an interface in Java is a blueprint of a class. It has static, constant and abstract method. This is quite popular, but I won't recommend you to memorize this definition because when well, first time while I was reading this, I was not sure what it is talking about. So it's just a definition. While we will be going through the slides, you will get to know, you will understand why this interface came into this world if you know the reason of why trust me you can easily define anything so always try to find out the reason of why to make your own definition got it so this is just a definition now if you someone if they are able to understand it's well and good but we'll proceed with the next slide to know it more in my way and before proceeding guys if you don't know what is class i will highly recommend you to go through my first oops concept video where i have covered what is class what is an object because if you don't know this you cannot proceed with the oops concept or with this any with the any programming in java so please 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 go through that video and i'm sure I bet you can get a clear picture of class. What is class and object in Java? Now let's proceed with how I'm going to define if someone asks me what is interface and this is how you are going to reply. Okay. So first understand why do we need interface? So interface, it is one of the core concept of Java and is used to achieve abstraction, polymorphism, multiple inheritance. Now here's the question, what is abstraction, polymorphism and multiple inheritance? If you don't know this, then don't worry because I am going to make a series of OOPS concept where I'll be covering abstraction, polymorphism in a separate video. So here I will be giving you a glimpse, an idea about what is abstraction, polymorphism and we'll cover what is multiple inheritance. Let me define it for you briefly. What is abstraction, polymorphism and multiple inheritance? Abstraction means hiding the detail, hiding detail implementation of something. 
I don't care how the messaging system is working. I only need to care that my mes message should reach to the right person. I don't care about the implementation, how it's working. I don't care how the ATM machine is working. I only need that if I'm inserting my card, the cash should come out. That's all. So basically, the end user, like customer or we people, we don't worry about how the things, how the functionality are working. We only care about the end result or the user interface. That's why abstraction came into picture that why to show the world what is how the things are getting implemented. There is, it's not required. So let's hide it. Poly means many and morphism means form. Let's take an example. I am a YouTuber, I am a software professional, and I am a daughter, I am a sister. So there are multiple forms of me. So this is how I can define polymorphism. Multiple inheritance means two super class and one child class. So one child class will extend two super class. This cannot be achieved in Java through class. Are you getting a point? But it can be achieved through interface because in interface there is no ambiguity. It is because its implementation is provided by implementation class. We are providing the implementation in class. That's why there is no ambiguity in multiple inheritance. So if someone asks you what is interfaces, then you need to include, include this point. You don't need to define abstraction, polymorphism and multiple inheritance until or unless the interviewer is not asking you this question. Let the interviewer ask you this question. Let him ask you. Let's make the interview going into your direction. Whatever terms you are going to use in your answer, there is a high chances that the next question will be coming from the te technical term you are using while defining any term. So in addition to that, that definition, we can create interface using constant variable, uh, abstract method, static method, default method. So this is how you need to define till here, till this slide, you need to define interface in any interview. Okay, let the interviewer ask you the question. Okay. Now, this slide is basically talking about how we can write, how we can create interface. As you can see here, I'm defining here constant variable, abstract method, static method, and default method. If you don't know what is static method, then let me define, you for, define it for you. Static method that belongs to a class can be invoked without creating an object of a class. Now, if you don't know what is object, what is a class, then I will highly recommend you to please watch my first video where I have clearly covered what is what exactly an object in class is. So if you watch that, you will get what is static method. Now, what is default method? Default method has been introduced recently after Java 7. So basically default method, came, uh, default method came into picture. You don't need to define or you don't, don't need to call default method explicitly. You don't need to implement it. So what will happen? It will be automatically available in your class. You don't need to explicitly call it. Got it? This is the beauty of default method. Now what is abstract method? I'm sure you will know it in the next lecture where I'll be covering abstraction in more detail. Hope this video was informative to you. If it was informative to you, don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.